Hello, hello. Happy Thursday, everybody. It's Thursday. I'm it's, the one with the issues. It's yet. Thursday. <laughs> so my name is Liz and I'm here with the lovely Carol this evening. Say hi, Carol. Hi, Carol. I mean, <laughs> hi, everybody. <laughs> so, Carol was kind enough to join me for tonight's video. I figure everybody's kind of missed her lately, so I convinced her to do some crafting with me. And what did we decide we were going to craft with? Better press that we need. Yeah. Notice I said need, guys. And, and, and fo fo uh, foiling. So yeah. we're going to show you. It's a two for today. <laughs> yeah. So Carol came up with a few techniques that she's going to show. And I came up with a few. And we're just going to do some fun alphabet combinations. Hey, Sandra. Uh, thanks for joining. So Carol's going to get her stuff prepped and ready because we decided to switch things up last minute because that's how we roll. Exactly. Um, but I'm going to get started. So first thing I'm going to share with you guys is how to actually make an impression using the better press. So uh, let's just dive right in, shall we? Yes, we shall. All right. So this is the better press system. It is from Spellbinders and it is a game changer. I thought it was very gimmicky in the beginning, but now that I've yeah. played with it, uh, I'm totally fangirling because I think it's awesome. So yeah, it's, we, we actually did throw the better press yeah. under the bus saying it's just another g g gimmick. What, what, what do we need that, that for? Right. Yeah. So, and, <laughs> and then we made the mistake of playing with it and, and that now we feel everybody needs it. Yeah. We were like, it's actually very cool. So here you have a magnetic base. Um, I don't actually know the technical term. Magnetic but base. It's magnetic. Then Carol, the genius that she is, she doesn't like getting her base messy, unlike, you know, some people out there who could care less. So she came up with the brilliant idea of taking some clear acetate and putting it down. So this way, when you're inking up your plates, you're not going to um, get your uh, base dirty, if that makes sense. I'll so show you guys. who likes that idea, right? All you do is you take your cleaner... Uh, put it on your acetate and your acetate's always going to be clean. Your plate is going to be always clean. So like, if you thought that was a great idea, yeah. let's give us some thumbs up. Kind of a game changer. You're my, no, uh, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Carol. Okay. So, Sandra says genius. <laughs> Thank you. Here we have a better press plate. So here's what they look like. They almost look like fancy um, stamps and dies like mixed together. So they are metal, which means they're magnetic. They're going to stick directly onto the plate here. And then have to figure out which way this goes. Um, but these work sort of like puzzle pieces. So in theory, you can just line everything up the way you kind of want it to be on your card. Make sure everything's good. And then, using the better press ink, I'm just going to ink up my image. So, um, unlike stamping, where you just kind of, like, pat, uh, when you're inking these, you want to kind of pat and rotate is the motion. And you can get lots of ink on because you're not get it, get, getting it on, on your plate. Yeah, exactly. So, um, already you can see that it does get messy. So, this acetate was, a, was kind of a great idea. I don't know what she's been up to but or how she came up with that but i really like this idea i have million dollars ideas but i'm just waiting for my million <laughs> so, good one all right so it's shifting a little because i did not wait for it to dry before we started filming so uh i'll readjust everything accordingly but just going to get it inked up. Now, the thing about the better press that is awesome is you do have some wiggle room between the time that you ink it up and the time that you run it through your machine. So I'm just going to shift that back to the way I want it. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, just move that over a little bit, is I'm going to take the top of the better press plate. Um, so it looks like this. And then using my Scotch removable magic tape, uh, I am going to just tape my cardstock down. I'm just going to line it up. So we are using the Better Press cardstock this evening. But there we go. Just stick it down. Now, when I flip it over, 
It's magnetic again, so it's just going to like attach right away. But the word better press is going to be showing down here at the bottom. So this is when the magic happens. I am actually going to run this entire thing through my big shot all by itself, nice and slow. And it feels like nothing at all. Exactly. <laughs> like it's very smooth, yeah. concerningly is, smooth. Does so that really work? Yeah. So um, don't let that scare you. You're just going to go through nice and slow. D for Dawn, says Dawn. Yes, LOL. Um, so yeah, run it through nice and smooth. I'm just going to go back because why not? Yeah, if, if, if you ever find that it's going to repeat itself, then just go once. But yeah, I do it, uh, the back and forth thing too. Yeah, it's just how I do my, my big shot. Okay, and then I'm going to place that off the side here. And then when I open it up, we are left with this amazing D for Dawn. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> so um i'm just gonna take this off of here and that's basically how you use the better press so they they make really good images nice and clear nice and crisp uh they almost like in, impress the image onto the cardstock or like press it in which is cool well what's what's really good um is as, as you guys know, with, 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 with my car accident, that my fine motor skills are lacking very, very, very much so. And uh, the better press was so easy to use, even though my hands were not wanting to cooperate properly. And, and so was the glimmer machine. And I think that that's what uh, started that whole thing of you're going to clean it on the better press plate. Don't tell Carol. Get it off there. <laughs> Get it off. No. Okay. Nobody saw it. It's okay. I did. Shh. You're supposed to use cleaner to clean your acetate, and then it's nice and clean, and let it dry. Fair enough. So I'm just using a wipe to give it a, a rough wipe down. <laughs> hey, hey, Joanne. Hi, <laughs> hi, everybody. All right. And then I'm going to move all of this off to the side. So now that we know how to kind of do our images, just now I'm just going to go b b back and, and, and grab this question from uh, JT is um, we're, we're using better press paper. It's a cotton paper so that those plates actually imprint into the paper and have a very nice crisp, crisp um, uh, impression. Are, impression. And um, using the better press ink, Liz and I have played with, with other inks and found that the better Our press ink works okay. is, is, is um, it, Sorry, it's it, the right one. It's it's the right one. We <laughs> we were the happiest with that one. Uh, you can also better press ribbon, it's, and that was a game changer for us. And also, you can use the better press ink on uh, the silk glitter glitter cardstock, and it doesn't come off. We tried the other inks, and and and, and they 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 came off. Yeah. So. Smeared, smeared. Wow. Yeah, it took too long Wait. to dry. So better press ink is yeah. the way to go. Um, so for my first technique, oh, well, Carol, there's another oh. question. See, it, it's not oh. good when, when, uh, so the acetate, I don't like getting my bases really dirty and it is a thin acetate, the same, same kind that, that we use to do, uh, shaker cards. So I just took a piece of that cause it was nice and thin that it wouldn't, um, sorry, uh, affect, affect the, the pressing. Thick, thickness of yeah. the, the pressing, um, cause it's thin and uh, that way you keep your, your press looking nice and sparkle, shiny new, unless Liz uses a dirty cloth to clean it. <laughs> <laughs> so glad everybody witnessed that. Right. Thanks for, for joining me, Carol. You're so good at fielding questions. Yeah, I, I just don't like talking. <laughs> so for my first technique, I'm going to be using the Distress Oxides, and I'm just going to do a fancy background with my letter D. <coughs> so I have a glass mat here, so I'm just going to stamp them directly onto the glass mat, like so. I'm using Broken China, Lucky Clover, and Twisted Citron. <laughs> Dawn says she's looking forward to getting her card in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like it. And then I'm just gonna go in with my Distress Sprayer and get all of that nice and wet. And then for the really fun, messy part, <laughs> Um, I'm just going to smear 
my cardstock into this and sort of color my background this way. Now, you can always add more water. You can't take water away. So uh, I like to add it to my liking as I go. Oh, that's pretty. Thank you. And then... Just like that, we have come up with this beautiful background. Dawn, I hope you like the colors greens and blues. And the nice thing is, you notice, if you hold that, that, that up close, Liz, mm -hmm. that it, it doesn't uh, change the, the fo not foiled, um, better pressed image on the paper. That's true. Yeah, so everything uh, Dawn is said looking yes. good. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, so then... <coughs> I would just let this dry and go in and embellish it and turn it into a card, which I will be posting later on after we share some more techniques with you guys. But that's my first one. So first one. Yay. Right? Yay. Oh, applause oh, for Liz. You know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to use some distress spray stain in the lost shadow. What? Yeah, I'm going crazy. And I'm just going to spray that as well. Give it a moment. And then oh, go in oh, and pick nice. some of that up. Just because I feel like you don't know until you try. But there we go. Technique number one. Using yeah, oxides know. to color your backgrounds. Applause, applause. Yay, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> All right. Now for my next trick, uh, <laughs> we, <laughs> we actually went ahead and pre-stamped um, or pre-pressed some other letters. So I'm going to use the letter A, and I'm just going to use my um, pencil crayons. For this Prisma. One. Prisma. Prisma. Yeah. Pencil crayons. So I'm going to move all these. And then here is my amazing with this. awesome selection of pencil crayons. So I um, felt like these are just so pretty as is that I wanted to see what they would look like if you just, you know, kept it simple and used your pencil crayons to maybe do some coloring. So... Um, I'm thinking maybe blues would be a nice choice for this. It's your card, and, and like like I used to say to them all, it's your card. You can do with it what you like. So I'm going to go <laughs> in with some, like, this one is called Blue Slate. I'm just going to let lightly color those flowers. Very pretty. So far, so good. Um, I feel like these letters do not need a lot of like jazzing because like I said, they're just so pretty as is. Um, and then we had a couple fun ideas. So like say somebody's having new baby, you could stamp out new baby's name and use the letters and turn it into a banner or, um, say it's somebody's, um, wedding. You could do like two people's initials for their wedding. So there's lots of possibilities with these. The better press debosses. That's the word. Yes, it is. Yep. Yes, Dawn, <laughs> that is correct. Thank you. <laughs> I know. I always lose words when I'm shooting these. I lose words all the time. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My vocabulary goes out the window, and I'm like, uh. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of the better press now. Like like I said, Liz and I were so, so on the fence about it. and was like, mm, yeah, it's gimmicky, whatever. And now we just... Yes, uh, we actually own the entire alphabet set. <laughs> <laughs> Between and the two plus of plus. us. <laughs> um, so that reminds me, Carol, what are we thinking of doing with this particular alphabet set? Oh, so we, we, we need your input. Um, we love the Better Press, and we were thinking to introduce it in a, in a, in a hands-on manner with a class. And um, we were thinking of doing eight cards to show you the, the different ways to use your letters. We're showing you quite a few today already, but there's we more to play with them. We really, really love the alphabet. You don't always have to put those words with it either because the w words are a separate plate. So you can just use initials. It works really nicely for scrapbooking as well. Yeah. So if you guys are interested... Ooh, congratulations, Dawn. She's going to expect your first grandbaby in August. That's awesome. That's awesome. That, that's a game changer. Hopefully it starts with D. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so we were thinking of, do, of doing the class, uh, doing eight cards, showing you different ways to embellish color, 
techniques and stuff and um, offer it as a class. Who who would be, if you're interested in, in a class like that, like we would do the better press work for you or the foiling. So it, it would be foiling and better press, right Liz? Yep. Yeah. And uh, about eight cards. And if you would like that, just uh, let us know. Just put in um, card class and we will definitely work work on that and, and get it. We're thinking the class probably end of May because I'm slower than molasses in, in a frozen day in January. And uh, it, it takes <laughs> me a while to, to get stuff. Dawn says on a weekend. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Yeah, if, if we get enough people interested, we will put it together and present it to you guys. We're super excited. Liz, if you can believe this, I'm going to tell you a secret. She wanted to do the entire alphabet, <laughs> and I asked her if she was nuts. That was a stupid idea. <laughs> can you imagine <laughs> prepping 26 letters for, like, I don't know, eight class people? <laughs> Good night, Bella. Thanks for joining in. Yeah, thank I you. I think card class is going to be popular. I'm seeing a few comments. Good, good. That and put would the be... comment and put hearts while Liz is coloring. That would so be we, fun. We can see too. Okay. <laughs> so, just like that, we have a roughly colored image, but like That's it's very pretty. pretty. Here's another one I did. <laughs> so, yeah, it's very pretty. Nice and simple. I like those colors. Thank you. And just like that, that's my second trick. Ta da! Is the better press? Oh, um, good question. Hang on. The I will... system itself is 110. Around that? Yep. It's um, the, the better price is 110, $110. And um, I'm, I'm on the fence. Linda, get off the fence. You need this. If, if we need it, you, you need it. That, that was a big thing. I'm sorry. I got to go back to the other question first. So the better press is 110. It comes with your black ink. It comes with um, the stuff that Liz used today. comes with a package of A2 um, better paper. press paper. Yep. And it also comes with its own um, plate. And I think there's a sentiment. It's on our yeah. website at classact.ca. If you go to Inspirational Thursday and, and click on today's date, Should be the like, acetate's there, the, yeah. the better press stuff is there, the inks, and uh, we're, we're getting more in. I just yeah. got to find my other question, just one second here. Um, so no, you wouldn't need one for the class. We would have all of the yeah. the prep work done for you guys. That's why 26 letters is, is kind of crazy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I misread that. How much would the better press? You, you can buy a better press if you like. <laughs> but, uh, we, we would do um, the pressing for you so that you get the idea of what to do with these letters. Yes. Because uh, having the ver versatility is, is def definitely key. All right. Okay, JT and, and uh, Linda, we, we have them in stock, and I think you need this. Yes. <laughs> so, because yeah. the better press also works in foiling, which I'm going to show you once, yeah. once, 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 uh, li li Liz, oh my gosh, I'm losing my talking. No, nope, no. Nope. When, 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 when Liz is done. <laughs> when the mess maker finishes. Okay, so, for this technique, I saw these letters, and I immediately thought to myself, how cool would they look? watercolor yep so I thought to myself let's do some watercoloring I couldn't decide if I wanted to use my distress watercolor pencils or if I wanted to use liquid pearls or watercolor paint so I'm going with a combination of the liquid pearls and the distress watercolor pencils so first color I'm going to be using is the dazzle and all I do is I just put a little drop here the other color I'm going to be watercoloring with is called Violet. And I didn't know you could actually watercolor with liquid like, pearls. You Another great super use. kind. I love liquid pearls. And then I just have my um, watercolor paintbrush thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's been a really sure, long day, guys. I'll go with that. <laughs> yeah. So all I do is I just dip into the pearls and add water until I'm like happy. Um, it's always easier to add more color and it's harder to go back. So, uh, I like to keep that in mind, but I'm just going to lightly add some pink to each of these flowers because it's kind of like cherry blossom-esque. And cherry blossom season is coming, so that's exciting. I don't know if anybody goes to, like, 
I don't know, High Park or anything in Toronto to see them. Um, if there's anywhere around here, I know we have some in our neighborhood and I just love seeking them out and uh, looking at the cherry blossoms. So yeah, I'm just watercoloring wherever. And I'm sure you have lots and lots of liquid pearls too, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with some purple. So again, I'm just going to dilute it really, really well for the purple because I don't want it to overpower the pretty pink that I have going. But I'm going to add a little bit in a couple of these flowers just to jazz them up. There, that's kind of pretty. Dun, dun, and dun. then, because like I said, I couldn't decide how I wanted to watercolor. <laughs> I'm also going to do a background using these guys. So I'm going to go in with the shade Seedless Preserves. I'm just going to color it. Your opportunity to let the grandchildren help. <laughs> yeah. Or, or, or kids. The Conrad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to color that. I'm also going to use a little bit of Kitsch Flamingo. So I'm sticking with my pink, pinky purple theme. So as you can see, the, the better pressed paper, it, it, it allows a lot of different uh, mediums for coloring, which is another thing that we really enjoyed about that as well. Versatile. Yes, versatility is key. Yeah, because we get bored. <laughs> <laughs> All right. When? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. We just go buy more craft supplies. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm just going to start mixing my colors in. And it's like a wa water, it's, it's so pretty, the watercolor effect that, that Liz is able to get with the, just scribbling on paper. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I do have an, I do have an ability. <laughs> that didn't come out very well. <laughs> you know, you don't have to be a professional artist to do what we do. <laughs> it's cheaper than therapy. <laughs> You're right. All right. So if I don't want to see the scribbles, I can really like manipulate it a little bit more. But like, I'm not mad at that. That's very pretty, yep. nice and soft. So there we have a watercolored sort of style card. Ooh, Linda commented, that's gorgeous. Thank you, Linda. Now, again, Conrad Totter Don said. <laughs> So yeah. I did this one ahead of time and I used magnets on top of it. So don't mind the like rings around it, but I wanted to go in with the liquid pearls again. This one is hydrangea. So it's like a pinky purple and I'm just going to do little drops in the center of my flowers. This was Carol's idea, but I think it's going to look good. Of course, it's adding glitter. Right? <laughs> flowers. So you could stop there and just have like kind of cool centers, but we're going to take it a step further. Hold it up to the camera so they can see what it looks like be yeah. before you So here's the magic before, to it. which is still very pretty. But then when we get together, we get a little crazy. So she's like, oh, you should add some crystal clear glitter on top. That's what we're going to do <laughs> because go big or go home. There we go. Little sprinkles of glitter. Hi, Carol. Thanks for joining in. Bet, bet, better, bet, better late than never. For sure. Re replay is also acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> we also upload these videos to YouTube or we have been recently. So That's right, if you too. miss us on Facebook Live or you prefer the YouTube format. I want to see that. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah. So here's what it looks like on camera. I hope it's like picking up that like shimmer. Sh sh uh, push it down more. It's too direct. Oh, there it is. Now it's starting to dance. There we go. Yes. It's very pretty. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. And then, like I said, I'll post the final projects for tonight afterwards. But she made me finish mine. Pretty easy techniques. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, like I said, the better press, it's just really, 
uh, fun and simple and effective, and you can do some awesome things with this alphabet set in particular. So on that note, are you prepped and ready? What's that? Miss girl, are you prepped and ready? I'm, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. so now. It's my turn. Yeah. But have, have patience because I'm very, very <laughs> slow. And uh, no. so I'll probably get Liz to do some stuff. Yeah. But, uh, okay, hold on. My turn. Here, you can watch her comments. Okay. Ooh, I like okay, this Okay, we're going to trip people over the rug because I can't stand that long. <laughs> Okay, sorry for the blank space, guys. Okay, so 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 um, my job was to to use the alphabet and you're use it. Hearts. What's that? You're getting hearts. Yay for hearts! <laughs> I miss you guys so so much. I know she needed to be on camera. Yes. <laughs> so um, this this was one that I did here, and this was using li little birdie flowers. But this is the and that goes with the 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 alphabet set, yes. and the happy birthday many more is also part of that. So this one is also not just the plate; it is also the die. So you can actually um, work very nicely with that. So like when Liz was saying earlier about wedding stuff, you actually have the and part to go with it. So this was was my take on this one. Um, I did cheat; it's not totally my take because. Uh, Spellbinders inspired me to to go ahead with this particular one. Mm. So this one is actually foiled. So this is done in black foil, but you could also do this very easy in, in any of the colors of the um, uh, be, 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 Better Press inks. So this one is actually black foiled with the glimmer machine. And fun fact, ladies and gentlemen, Carol doesn't like the yellows, so we really pushed her to use some pretty yellow flowers. They and made me do it. yellow. Yeah. They made me do yellow. I was thinking of Bella and her bees. <laughs> <laughs> so my next one, of course, you guys know how much I love Christmas. So this one here is, is gold foiled, and I just used alcohol inks to, to, to color the flowers. And um, I have a really big treat that I kind of dropped the bomb on Liz as I'm coming over saying, I have a special dye for these guys tonight. Yeah. So we, we gold foiled that and then that's just the gold foil paper. And this is a beautiful stitch shape. I really like the inverted um, curvature on, on this one. And it's peace on earth. Again, if you didn't want to do a Christmas card, you just leave the peace on earth out and you have just the, the, the uh, initial P. And um, this one here, is like this and it's a really different shape right guys so what I did was the die that I'm going to offer to you tonight is what I used and I will show you how to create this card um I don't know what letter yet whatever letter Liz gives me and then we put um spellbinder bling on here just a little ones along along the stitching so the actual die is this and then I created the card to, to make it work. And she used better press ink in a color. Instead That's right. Of the black. Tropical. Tropical. It's a tropical Ooh. blend. It's beautiful. And then these are just alcohol al alcohol mar markers. I dabbed them because I can't color in the lines yet, but oh, I dabbed them. Brilliant. So, so that worked. So then these are the little birdie flowers. They tortured me to do yellow. Funny enough, we mostly have yellow because we sold a lot of them, but there's more coming. More coming. So they're great. So he, I will tell you what the deal is. So you know me, I have lots of time to do uh, add to cart. So this, <laughs> this set comes with this particular one that makes this. So that's a size and it's stitched. And then there's... You know me, I never put my dies back. <laughs> we were in a hurry when we got, like, started. Yeah. It, it comes with a magnetic sheet, and then here's your dies. So it, what my, my, my point to show this to you was, even though these are perfect for scrapbooking, they're perfect for cards, it just depends on which way that you use them. So all these dies, and I'm going to show, show you how to make this, I used it on the letter P. So this die set is regular $48.99. And we are like, it's a criminal deal. We are selling them for $15.99 for this set. If you want it, it's not online. You have to write the word rectangle. I only have 10. That's all I have. And it's a good deal. It's yeah. a real, and it comes with the magnetic sheet for it too, right? So comment rectangle. Yeah, 
comment rectangle and it's yours for $15.99 instead of regular $48.99. I'll be taking that. It's great. It's great for scrapbooking. It's great for journaling. You can cut them in half. There's all kinds of stuff that you can, can do with that. So now how did I create, is this in the camera? Yes. Okay. Like you I don't can know, see actually, it? No. Okay. I yeah. hope so. Let me see. Oh, now I know why you stand up. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to move those and put this one. So this one here, easy peasy. I cut out the, the, the largest rectangle and I've cut out a piece of white cardstock that measures four, 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 four and a quarter by five and a half. Okay. So that's my start. I'm going to score this piece, the die cut piece at four and a quarter. Where's my thing? There it is. <coughs> so we have three rectangles that's available. We're not getting them back again as far as I know. Not at that deal anyways. So now I'm going to take that big die cut piece and I'm going to measure it. Sorry. At four, four, oh, Liz, okay. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. Four and a quarter. And we're going to score it. I just want to make sure I have it scored the right way. No, I don't. It goes this way, four and a quarter. So the the die die cut piece. Which one's the scoring blade? The white one. Okay. <laughs> white one's a scoring blade. <laughs> don't button. cut it. Okay. <laughs> so we're just going to fold that over, and that creates the the, the start of the base. I'll take that. I just got to get my bone folder. <laughs> oh, I have one. Come on. I have it. Come on. Because you do those hot dog fools. It drives me nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and hamburgers. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. So that's that part there. I've cut a black piece of cardstock, four and a quarter by, by, by five and a half. And I'm going to adhere it to that white piece that's the exact same size. I have tape. I got it. I know. I know. I, I brought my stuff as because as, I didn't. Sorry, guys. <sighs> Can you, can you take that, Liz? Yeah. I hate that. So just stick them together. I, I'll put the tape on. Okay. I like doing the dog, dog <laughs> ears. And Diane, if you're watching, I know you call them bunny ears. Oh. I know she does. Easter's like to coming nuts. up. That's no excuse. <laughs> it's my idea. Do you know Conrad was the dog at school today? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. They all fight over who gets to be the dog. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's a fun class. So you know my other million dollar trick. Now I have two, the acetate, and I have this. Acetate is brilliant. I thought so. Yeah. Spellbinders, if you're watching, credit goes to this lady. Right. So when I dog ear, this, this slides really nicely so I can line that up. Once I have it lined up, I just press my corner press my corner and then pull, 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 pull the tabs. Sharon, I've got you down. Thank yep, you. That, that's a great deal. So now you're just going to have a piece that's half white, half black. No big deal. Now, the one thing you have to do when you're placing this onto your card, um, I scored that wrong, but that's okay. It still works. It'll work. Okay. No, I think you're good. Yeah, no, I scored, I should have scored at four. It, it doesn't matter. I should have scored at um, four, not four and a quarter. Oh. So the correction is to score at four and not four and a quarter for this one. It'll still look good though. I promise. So now I got to put tape. Nope, Liz. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I got you. Yep, thank you. Sorry, guys. Do, do, do. Don't hands, apologize. Hands, it's hands awesome have a mind of their own. <laughs> Can I get some hearts for Carol? <laughs> what, what? There they are. <laughs> Thank you. Aww. <laughs> uh, I miss the store so much, guys. I can't even tell you. Well, I think you're missed, too. They have to put up with me and Bella. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough, okay. Right? <laughs> you guys have been doing a great job, and I appreciate what you and Bella and Richard do, and and uh, that all the customers are, are are still amazing and 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 extremely understanding with 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 the situation. 
Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to pull these little tabs off, but every piece will have like that little dog ear. Yep. Bunny ear. Bunny ear. And I'm going to line this one up to the bottom of the card. Otherwise, you're going to have a wonky card, which I know from experience already today. <laughs> I can't, uh, okay, there. That's close. Close enough, guys. So now this. Pull, 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 and pull. That's awesome. Oh, and guys, if we, we have something else that we did. So... Um, I did it. I told me what I said not to do. I did. So now I just need to cut that little black piece off. And this is what I mean. It stands wonky. It goes to, to the front. So I never I, noticed. Yeah, I did though. See if I can get that off because I don't think I pressed too, too hard on it. Oh, <laughs> I no. didn't. Yeah, no, I got it. I got this. Always pull on an angle. And because I didn't like rub it down really, really hard. You're full of tricks. I know. This is why I like crafting with you. There. Okay. Perfect. There we go. See? There. Now, no more womp womp. That's it's straight. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So now, I have not tried the opal um, foil. foil. I'm hoping that it's more to the white side. So we will play. If not, then I will do it in gold. But I thought black and white would look just absolutely awesome. Very nice. So we're going to get my glimmer machine. What letter should we do? Uh, can I get some letter suggestions from you guys? Yeah. So we'll reach over here. Yeah. Um. Because I want to show that show, show them online. Maybe. Yeah, I don't really care. We'll, we'll we'll try to get the glimmer glimmer machine over here. Well, it's not even on. You didn't turn it on. I don't know. Oh. Womp, womp. I've never used it. Oh, <laughs> it's still a womp womp. <laughs> so. Okay, so. Let, how's let's everybody talk, doing? <laughs> let, 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 uh, no, we have something to talk talk about. The, oh. the Spellbinder. The Weekender. The Weekender. The Weekender. Yeah. yeah. Who knows about the Weekender? I want to see some hearts who's who's been watching our uh, Facebook, who's been watching our oh. our. New stuff. What's a comment? Somebody's Carol funny. says C for Conrad, but it's also for Carol. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what what the Spellbinder Weekender is 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 something new, and we're really appreciative that that spell spell Spellbinders is actually letting us participate to sell kits. Yeah. That they're not keeping it just to themselves. I thought that was really um, a very nice business. Gesture. ethical thing to do yeah yeah so i was pretty impressed um we have limited spaces the it's an all weekend may oh gosh 17th the weekend of the 17th i believe you just say yes. you're going to be getting dies and embossing folders and and instructors um classes. was that classes yeah. Um, all, all the information is actually on, on the website. If you either go to e events or you go to March, there's a complete write-up on how it's, it's all going to take place. Um, we, we ordered really lightly, and I might be sorry now. Um, I think we only have four spots left. Yeah. Four spots left yeah. for that. And uh, so go to the website, check it out, and snag your spot. Um, I didn't know how popular it would be, and obviously, womp womp, it was like very... <laughs> it's our first time, we're new. <laughs> I know, right? Um, so what we're doing, like watching paint dry, we're waiting for this button to go green. That was my fault. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, turn it on so we don't have to wait. So how, I, I'm assuming that some of you saw it. It, it. In the brief intermission while we're waiting for the green light, you could go check, check, check it out. Yeah. Right? Speaking of, yeah. where is the rest of the alphabet? Um, I brought it. Yeah, you did. I, I did. I put it somewhere. It's beside you. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me pick a letter. I'm just going to take a random. A rando? Yeah, I just want to okay. see letter Q. I don't like that one. No. <laughs> what does it say? Quintessentially yours. I don't that like it. That sounds... That's a weird one. It should have said, like, queen, and then we could have added each of the kids' names oh, to it. Oh, on your special day. On your special day, with black and white. Yeah, okay, yeah. tuxedo. It's a formal wedding, guess, guys. Guess whose birthday it is tomorrow. <gasps> yeah, do you Did guys you know? Did you make your son a card? 
No. Or are we making one right now? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think he'd like the yellow one, unless it was blue. Yeah. But then then he, he'd be okay with that. Sorry about the the uh, waiting for this glimmer machine to, to heat up. It's okay. Enjoy our banter. <laughs> right? We almost sat sound worse than, than you and Richard. <laughs> Where does this... Uh, we can put this one... Yeah, in the center. Yeah. I love how they actually kind of guide you with these as to where they go. It's so awesome. Mm -hmm. And it helps if I put it the right way, though. I wasn't going to say anything. It's okay. I don't think you're on camera. Although, I can't see. You can't see the glimmer machine? You have to go no. here. Oh, oh there, there you are. There we are. Hello. Sorry, everybody, about that. But if you want to reconsider the rectangles dies, that's up for grabs. <laughs> Sandra, you ordered the uh, Spellbenders um, Weekender, but it was weird and we fixed it. Thank you for letting us know. <laughs> right. So, so are you just going to send her an invoice then? Yeah. Okay. And unfortunately, there's no discounts allowed on these classes. That was one of the strict rules. Every store has to charge that same price. I like oh, just, that. Yeah. It's a, a manu, what do they call that? Ma manufacturer's suggested retail? Yeah. MS, MS. Yeah. yeah, that works. Yeah. That works. Oh, come on. Hurry up here. That was my fault. <laughs> the first one does take time to heat up, so I'm really so sorry. Of course, that's just going to be the way it is. <laughs> Hey, Carol, do you want to hear Conrad's favorite joke? What's that? Knock, knock. Who's there? Tickles! <laughs> and then he tickles you. <laughs> it's not great, but you have to laugh. <laughs> it's like Natalie with her Nintendo jokes. I haven't heard one yet, but every, she dies laughing before she tells it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. That's funny. Okay, why are you taking so long? It just seems long because we're on camera. Oh, totally. <laughs> right? Do you, I, I like that card. The way that that turned out with the just it's a different di different design right like a fun fold yeah i really cre like the look actually in the black the black is like classy yes i'm just gonna put this on so hopefully it will yeah heat itself oh, it just turned green. it just turned green oh. look at that meant to be Okay, so now we just turn, I'm going to get my foil. Now, I've not done the opal, so I'm not sure if it's white or if it's just... It looks like it's going to be sort of... Um, Shit. No, like it's not. It is translucent. Yeah. That's not going to look so good. It's going to look awesome. <laughs> Who wants to see the opal? I want to see the opal. I'm not sure about it. Do it. Okay, well, we'll do it. We'll Yay. do it. And I lost my, 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 my actual foil cutter, which is like really sad. I found the blade, but no, no, no cutter. But I might do one in gold too. No. Okay, let's see how this looks. So this one's going to be a little bit tricky because I would go with a new one. Yeah, let's go with a new piece. This piece is ugly. There's no such thing, thing thing as ugly. So this is just going to sit like this. Like that. If, as long as I have it the, wrong, the right way because that's hard to see. And then I'm going to put... I got a feeling it's the wrong way. I yeah. think it's this way. Yeah. Okay. We'll find out. <laughs> so I have my green shim and my, my clear. And then I'm going to press this button. When it stops blinking, it's ready. So if you want to, want, want to get your big shot ready, then... Uh, where is it? On the floor. I'm not get, I can't get on the floor. I can't. I'll you can't. Okay, wait a minute. We'll get it in a second. <laughs> Maybe. When, when you don't work in your own craft space, right? I have a feeling I'm going to be doing this in gold. You might. I'll let them pick, too. Okay. Matt, um, Matt. Ready. Okay. Do, 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 oh, do, Carol do. says you're doing great. Thank you. She is. It's awesome. She's here. All right. Now we're waiting on this green light. So. Yeah. So what that's doing, it's, it's heating up the, um, the plate and the foil to go together. 
and uh, then we'll just pull that out and it will go through your big shot same thing as 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 your your better press you're going to take it slowly and you're going to push it through the big shot oh, the whole thing the whole thing okay don't no nope, i'm going to oh. do it you're going to move it <laughs> okay and you're just going to slowly put it through the big shot or whatever machine that you have now, when it comes out the other side, I put my hands on, on the plate so they don't move, and I will actually do it again. Now, I'm not sure about this opal. I have never used it. So I do put it back again into the docking station so that it can start to heat up for, for my next one. I feel confident. I forgot the cardstock. <laughs> Oh man! And I have just christened another new plate. Ooh, it's all pretty on there. <laughs> oh man! What is it on your special occasion? I for I can't believe I forgot the cardstock. Okay, we'll try this again. I would have reminded. Let's do you. it in gold. It, no. Okay, we'll do opal. <laughs> oh. that's, that's, that looks awesome. That was a womp womp, big time. Sorry, guys. Now we gotta wait for the, the green light will not take as long. It's preheated now, so right. Ew. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm gonna open this roll to see which way the the curl goes. It goes around. Okay, so yeah. the inside is where you want to put it. Down. No, the color always goes towards it. So if you're ever foiling, the way to remember it is that the silver side goes up. No. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh. Trust me. Okay. As I'm going to do it wrong now because it's this one, right? Yeah. Okay, so this one. Linda says, I think we've all done that. Yes. It's not first time. <laughs> well, this one's a little tricky. So Liz Liz just wanted to see what it was going to look it's like. It's going to look awesome. So I'm going to put the black cardstock. Okay. Have it the right way. The nice thing is I'm using black licorice and I'm cheating. I'm actually using the barcoded side. Like, why waste it? That's not smart. I should cut it. Because we're using the other side. So the one thing with, with, with doing the, the, the foiling is to um, have smooth cardstock. It works much, much better. That looks so good. It looks nice on my green plate. I like Nobody it. will ever steal it because I can say it's mine. Yeah. Okay. So now we're just going, going to press this button again. I'm sorry for the delay, guys. My bad. My fault. Hey, we've both done it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our video that is called Inspirational Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> we hope you find some inspiration along the way. <laughs> and some giggles. <laughs> okay. It'll be interesting to see what it looks like on the black. It's going to look amazing. I it looks know. like it's like holographic. It does. Like it, it's got that rainbow. Oh, shift. there's lots of hearts there for the, oh, I guess, for the yeah. holographic. Excellent. Yours commented, um, no delay. I'm inspired. Oh, good. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All righty. I was so nervous to do this tonight. <laughs> I know. You're doing awesome. I'm trying. Yeah. That's all I can do. Linda says, I think it's going to look amazing. Ooh, I'm hoping. Oh, I, guess what? I do, too. Lights. Camera. Oh. Okay, as long as I don't shake between here and there, we'll be good. Even if you do. Okay, we just need to move this a little bit. Okay. Okay. Let's crank. The funny thing is, when, when you're cranking these through your, your um, Big Shot, it doesn't even feel like there's any pressure to it at all. Yeah. So when, when we started the video and I was saying that um, the crafting has been hard for me, as, as many of you know, because um, my hands don't want to cooperate. And um, the nice thing is, is that with this, it's 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 allowed me to do something. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, just a minute. Who's ready for the reveal? Me. I still think I did it backwards. Me. Oh. <gasps> Is it amazing? <gasps> 
It's so it cool. Look. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. That's holographic. That's beautiful. That's really nice. On the black. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. We did good. We got oohs and ahs for that yeah. one. <laughs> I, I even so that, <laughs> that me too. I surprised myself. That's um, that's the the opal. So what I'm gonna we can shut that off, Liz. And get that out of the way. I need the paper trimmer, please. Yes, ma'am. So I'm just gonna trim this down. Oh, I cut that's gorgeous. I never so used nice. the opal before. I think we're gonna be seeing a lot more of that. Yeah. Yeah. So you just have to remember that the curled, curled, curled side, the inside is is the, the part that goes down then. Okay, so. So let's do this at three and three quarters ish. No, I should have measured okay. this. That's it goes actually to this. It's three and a half. It'll it'll work. <clears throat> There's no right way, no wrong way. No right way, no wrong way. Fun fact: It's it's Carol. our heart. She's a yeah. She's a perfectionist. <laughs> <laughs> You know that everybody's laughing right now, right? No. <laughs> They're like, no way. That looks so good. Oh my gosh. And I pulled that off. You can season yep. it with this Ooh. pink fresh. I love that word seasoned. Here, you take this piece. Let's drops. finish this. This. So if anybody's new, we, we had that awesome dye, dye sale. How many do we still have three left? Only three left. Yeah. Oh, that's such a good thing. Um, you talk about the dye all tape because I'm right okay. Now. So it is a nested <laughs> dye. It comes with, <laughs> I didn't put it back. Comes with all of these. One, two, three, four, five, six different nests. So you can put a cute little sentiment in this one. You can use the big one to do sort of a fun fold card. They are from Maker's Movement, and they normally retail for $48.99, but we are offering them tonight for $15.99 because it's International Craft Month. And Carol finally decided to help. Yeah. <laughs> it's a party. Okay, so there's what it looks like so far. I should try. To, I know why you stand up now. Oh, I love that holographic That's look. So good. It's sparkly fun. Okay, and then um, you said these. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Right. These are the pink fresh clear drops iridescent. These are one of my favorites, actually. Mine too. Because they go with like everything, but especially. Oh, this like holographic. Oh, Suzanne, got you down. Okay. So, so when I'm doing these, I, I forgot my jewel picker. That's the only thing I forgot. Oh, I have one. So when I'm not sure what, what I want to do with the bling, I will, oh yeah, of course you have the beautiful pink fresh yes, picker. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> okay. So I always just take them that like this, Liz, how does it work? Womp womp. Am I the right way? Yeah, so you just take it and you go. Oh, it could be oh, like okay. clear kit. So what I do is I never put them on right away. I'll kind of just take a bunch out of the bag, whatever drops. Okay, I can't do it, so I use my fingers. <laughs> and, Sometimes it's faster. Right? <laughs> and I just kind of plunk them where, wherever they land. I don't go through the bag looking for sizes and, and all that type of thing. Unless I'm doing a corner and I want to. But I try to stay in the rules of three. Oh, you do? I do. I didn't know that about you. Yeah. Rule, rules of three. And then if I have maybe... Let's see. Do we do a big one here? No. No, that looks silly. When when I said no, that gonna... it's very elegant. And Linda says we're not in camera. Oh, I'm sorry. Hello. There you go. <laughs> That's because I can't stand <laughs> for long. My setup's so not great. So just my, uh, it's good for Liz. It works for you. I just can't stand. Oh, wobbly. A little bit of glue. I forgot my fine tip at home. Oh, 
And as I said, if they all end up the same size, that's fine. It's when you start, oh, I'm making a mess now with the glue. I can help. Okay, just a sec. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna have, have, have Liz do the, the last uh, two because I'm just making a mess. Thank goodness it dries clear. <laughs> right? It's okay. I feel like I'm not going to do much better. Right? It's the end of the video You just almost. stick your finger in. There, there you go. go. Of course, it's always at the end that yeah. you're going to make a mess. Beautiful. I do like that. This this one really bugs me, the glue. But anyway. It'll dress. So here is that one. So good. So even matching blings to it. And then you can put your sentiment all in the uh, inside other than what uh, I didn't think about that. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> so what we would do is we would cut another square and put it right here. And then that issue is done. But yeah, <laughs> don't use your scraps, <laughs> right? That's so cool. I love it. So th thank you everybody for joining in. And um, I, I appreciate that, that you guys uh, stuck it out with you, all the thick and thin boo-boos. <laughs> well, not technically boo-boos. Uh, Just uh, nice. embellishment opportunities. Right? <laughs> so remember, we've got crops coming up. We've got one March 16th. We yeah. have the, the big one in May. Lots of fun there. Um, the Spellbinders Weekender. Um, craft month and if you promotion. wanted a class and didn't get your name just on the idea that we want to do um a, an alphabetic class uh make sure that you you put in their class so that we kind of have an idea who's interested in doing a, a, a project like that you you won't need the better press you won't need the glimmer machine the letters will be done it's to show you what to do with everything so have a a, a, gr a great night thanks everybody for coming out Happy Inspirational Thursday! <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye! Bye.